Throughout the month of October, we've talked about vampires, zombies, and witches as we made our way through the history of horror films. I decided to end this month on Robert Eggers' The Lighthouse, which I think is a wonderful homage to the horror films of yesteryear. The film follows two wikis, Ephraim Winslow and Thomas Wake, who try their best to avoid going insane while on a remote island in the late 1800s. Winslow, the younger wiki played by Robert Pattinson, is ordered around by Wake, the older wiki played by Willem Dafoe. He pushes Winslow to his absolute limit by being a rude asshole who's constantly farting and just being a dick. The performances here are phenomenal. This is Pattinson and Dafoe at their very best, and their standout performances are backed up by a top-notch screenplay. The dynamic between Winslow and Wake is absolutely wonderful. It's the perfect blend of characters getting along and developing mixed with conflict and constant bickering. I love how Wake uses his age and seniority as a way to dominate and rule over Winslow with an iron fist. My favorite scene is where Wake gives this epic Shakespearean speech about how Winslow doesn't appreciate his cooking. Hark! Hark! Triton! Hark! Hello! Bid our father, the sea king, rise from the depths full, foul in his fury. The cinematography is gorgeous. How this didn't win an Oscar in every technical category is beyond me. The sound design here is immaculate, with the constant foghorn noise creating this feeling of palpable dread. I remember seeing trailers for this movie before it came out, and I was fully expecting a Lovecraftian type film. And while the movie does dip its toes very slightly in that aspect of cosmic horror with surreal imagery littered throughout, it is not what I expected. It took me a few watches to really appreciate the movie for what it is and not what I wanted it to be. The Lighthouse is definitely a movie with a slow pace and old-fashioned sensibilities. I can see a lot of modern audiences getting turned off by its pacing and the general atmosphere. For those that are intrigued and have the patience for it, this is one of the absolute best horror films of the 2010s. (laughs) 